Hi, Fires fans. We are the team from Lully Street, brought to you by United. Now, the band is back together. Cap, welcome back behind the desk. It's good to be back, mate. Sorry I was replaced by the Dane Swan doll. Uh, Suitably replaced. And he made mention of that, and he wanted a shout-out this week as well. Says he uh, tunes in every week. Oh, good on you, Swanee. Well, he's got a tweet. He had a good tweet session on uh, Friday night. Now, VPL Pies, five in a row. I don't want to preempt Cap's ladder, but he's sitting inside the top four. Yeah. Huge win on the weekend versus the Tigers. It was freezing. Cap, tell us a bit about hang it. Hang on, wait, mate, hang on. Oh, sorry, Cap. Can he get the United Petroleum play this We'll get to that. We'll build the suspense. Surely, he was okay. Surely, okay. Surely a chance. Oh, you can't set the bar high for Cap. He was okay, but we'll build the suspense. Cap, give us a bit of a rundown and we'll see, how, see if you feature in any of the highlights. Yeah, as you said, uh, fifth win in a row for the boys. So we're doing something right uh, at VFL level, which is which is really pleasing. It's all on the back of uh, contest and work rate and effort. Um, nothing special about it. We just Everyone's going out there and, and performing their role. And um, that's the way we started from the opening bounce on the weekend. Um, led by you know, a couple of the VFL boys. Lockie Gow thought it was fantastic. His opening quarter really set the trend and uh, he never looked back. Yeah, he was really solid in that first quarter. But the other one I'd like to mention is Jared Witts. Um, he had a really good start with his rough, rough work to advantage. Um, had 49 hit outs for the game and was uh, dominant in that area. Yeah, he was. He was really good with those big guys. Um, Rupert Wills as well, um, around the contest as well. Uh, Airely um, at the contest um, really drove a lot of that. And, and the back six has, um, I suppose, been driving those those uh, victories for us. Very experienced down there. And um, probably the third quarter, as you can see there, uh, was probably our strongest. And then our last quarter, we probably should have gone on with it and won by, or we definitely should have won by a lot more. Richmond came back, kicked six goals to one that last quarter. Yeah, it, it was disappointing that last quarter. You know, Richmond took it up to us, absolutely, but um, we were disappointed in our in some of our effort in that last quarter. You can see that score only winning by 26 points uh, by having a 56 lead, uh, 56 lead uh, point lead, I should say, at three quarter time. But as you can see, how with three goals, and there it's got you, Cap, as the best player Number on the ground. Number one, the best player. Ah, uh, Lully ranking points. Oh, no, no Brent McCaffer. But a no very ranking. even spread there. I know you featured as elite, but didn't quite crack the top five there. But Matty Goodyear, a huge game, 143, as did Rupert Wills, 136. So great to see so many guys uh, getting some Lully points there. But even though it was freezing, plenty of Magpie fans enjoyed being back at Vic Park on Sunday. Uh, the Collingwood Media Cameras had a chat to Anthony Flanagan. Flano. Flano, who gave his fan vote. My best three, probably uh, one vote to, to McCaffer. Uh, getting the ball out of the back line like a champ as he is. Uh, also, ex-premiership player, um, Tuvi, another back line player. Uh, two, two votes for him. And uh, three votes... Definitely for the sack, gold sack. Uh, brilliant job as always. So three, two, one for the back line for for the Magpies. Even though they put Kaffer in the forward line in the in that last quarter, gave away a few cheap goals to Richmond. Uh, good on you guys. Three, two, one. 2010 Premiership players. Now Flanners was good one of Flanners. many Pies right fans up, enjoying the VFL Pies on the weekend. Yep. Loved your game, Caff. Loved it. The Pies fans in the fan vote. Loved your game, Kev. Did they? But that doesn't there matter. There it is. Though. Look, smash the vote. But that doesn't matter. There's smash only one the vote. person that matters. Now this is this is probably the most momentous occasion, or preempting momentous occasion. But are you, are you you want to do it, do you? No. I'll, <laughs> I'll, is this my segment or yours? Sorry, I'll step back. I'm stepping okay. stepping on your toes. But give me a bit who of, is? Give me a bit of space. Who is your United Player of the Week? Okay. The United Petroleum player Sorry. this week could have gone to Rupert Wills. <laughs> could have gone to Matty Goodyear or Lockie Howe. But this week, Kath, you get it, buddy. Everybody get around me! Get around me. <laughs> get around me. What, what a game by this fella. Ten, uh, 26 disposals. Didn't have the most disposals, but um, just the ones that you did have were in, were in contested situation. Um, your inside stuff in clearances was fantastic. Ten marks, ten tackles. Your all-round game was was the best for the whole year. So um, that's what you have to do, Kath, to get the uh, the votes. So um, 
Well, uh, cracking game, mate. You provided the forwards with opportunities, not like that one, but uh, almost an opportunity for Witsy there. But you, you provided an avenue for um, for our mids to go through, and mate, you just cont contest the stuff, tackling stuff, as we see there, was uh, outstanding. I think so. Yeah, it's been really enjoyable. Um, obviously, been down at the VFL for a while now, and um, just getting used to playing with all, all those boys and really enjoying it. And, and playing winning football uh, obviously helps as well. So that mix between forward line and midfield uh, been very enjoyable. I love the uh, love the socks up as well, Cap. I know yeah, it's cold, but going back school. to yeah, going back to the old school. I did it last week against Casey because it was cold and I liked it, so I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> Sharp, I do yeah. like it. But as we mentioned, Lockie Howe kicked three goals on Sunday. Remarkably, at half time, all nine of our goals had been kicked by VFL listed players. Ford's coach Tark and Lockyer touched on this trend post game. Well, we're we're spreading the love a little bit. Um, we got some some really damaging guys. Uh, our smalls in particular are getting back in and doing some really good work at ground level, but. Um, you know, today uh, Howie um, got his fair share and, and got an end of some, some really good work. Corey Gold's obviously given us a good target down there, but um, you know the smalls and the resting mids are, are doing some good damage, so yeah, it's pleasing. Oh, pretty gloomy down there post game. What about Tarks's hair? Well, it's, it's a bit of a cross, cross between hat hair and, and heavily styled, but you made a good point. Lots of goal kickers. Lots of goal kickers is good footy. It is. Uh, <laughs> it's obviously, we need to kick goals to be able to win. So, but yeah, obviously, getting getting uh, multiple goal kickers, uh, spreading the load, getting guys in our midfield kicking mm. goals as well. Um, you know, it's really beneficial for the team, and it's working obviously over the last five weeks. So, uh, if we can keep doing that, hopefully, we keep getting those wins. It's good that we're not just relying on one player. Yeah. So, um, you know, Trav's been in and out of the side, but um, he's been kicking goals. But we've been spreading the load, so opposition can't uh, pinpoint who. Who, who the ball's going to go And goals to. coming off a lot of our um, defensive acts and forward pressure as well, so um, really pleasing. Definitely is. And as, Tux, uh, or as we touched on earlier, uh, lots of goals coming from the VFL listed players who are really stepping up. And they're getting lots of opportunity through injury to the AFL boys, but stepping up, which is fantastic. Yep. Now, Calf. Yes. <laughs> Good one this week. Good to do it. Uh, as you said earlier, we've... We've jumped into that top four. Um, Look at us go! Yeah, so we're doing quite well. Our Beat, percentage is putrid. Yeah, well, we should have been a lot better um, if we had to finish off on the weekend, but we won't worry about that now. So, um, you know, four or five big weeks coming up um, against sides that are below us on the ladder, but um, we're still going to have to go out and do the work and, and do what we've been doing. So um, we've got the double header this weekend, so against the Northern Blues uh, at four o'clock here at the Holden Centre. Um, so make sure you, you get down here, get to that game, support the VFL guys and then straight after, uh, hopefully after a win, we can get over and, and support the AFL boys and hopefully they'll do the same thing. Well, we had a double win last weekend, let's hope for another double win this weekend. Make sure you get along, go VFL Pies. Thanks Monty! Woo! And well done Gap! <laughs>